a regular chat. Hey everyone, how you doing? It's the one and only Tim doing a regular chat on this Tuesday. And on this Tuesday, this beautiful Tuesday here in Michigan today, and just a beautiful one. A gorgeous one yeah yeah but it's not gonna stay like this too much longer I guess <laughs> I guess things are supposed to be warming up by this weekend again for us here in Michigan but it's real nice and comfortable today so if you like me to I'll share this weather with you just drop a comment and let me know if you would like this weather that we're having here in Michigan today and I will do it for ya. I will do it for ya. So, what is on everyone's big, big plans for this Tuesday? Any big plans? Well, if you do, enjoy them for me, will ya? Enjoy them for me. And not much plans for us today. And not much plans for us today. And not much at all. And not much at all. I didn't have to take my son to work. Because he called to see if they had anything going on, and they don't got nothing. Things are kind of slow at all the factories, he told me. Uh, uh, he isn't at work today. Didn't work practically all week last week. I asked him, well, did you call? And he said, well, I don't have to call because I already called to let them know I'm, I'm not... Nah, you know I'm available and but I'm sure one of the factories needs some help <laughs> but and they haven't called them well they called him yesterday and told him to go into the first factory that it's up in front of the a factory that he does work at but they didn't keep him that long it's like oh my god so, it's back wondering if they're going to call him or not. He didn't even work all week last week whatsoever. Yeah, whatsoever. Kind of strange, too. Kind of strange. And the thing is, he tried to get through another um, appointment place here in town. On Star. But things didn't work out right there. They sent him to... This one factory, Denzo, and you know, he did training there and everything, but he had to do this test and stuff, but missed it. So now he's got to wait 30 days for that, to t retake that test. But, I don't know, any other factory that he'll try to get into, it's going to be hard for him. It's going to be freaking hard. You know, and he did ask for packaging, but they had him do other things instead of packaging. Like, oh my God, keep people what they're supposed to do. But they're not, I guess, or they don't. They try to put you on something else. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, yeah, he didn't have to work again today. Kind of sad. Yeah, kind of sad that he isn't even putting in the hours like he should. Yeah. Not putting in the hours whatsoever. Yeah, whatsoever. But I guess that's life. Yeah, I guess that is life in the fast lane. Man, yeah, just been chilling and sitting around and I had to call this um, healthy living it's a place that gives out uh, diabetic uh, uh, things and they gotta send me a new te test machine and everything it's like oh my god because <laughs> I guess uh, Meridian only uh, prescribes for one test uh, thing. 
and they don't do one touch so I'm gonna be stuck with a one touch <laughs> crazy 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 yeah crazy I got me a one touch and I got me another one and <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> It's crazy that these insurance places don't cover some of these um, um, blood meters. Uh, getting ridiculous, like I say. But yeah, I caught them and said, well, last week I called somebody to see if I could get some test strips. And they said they was going to send me something, but I haven't received it yet. And... <laughs> I guess they didn't do all the work and whatsoever, and now I guess it's gonna take what five days. The guy said before I could get something. Uh, now I'm gonna wait for that. <laughs> Just like I'm waiting to receive my Bietta that I'm supposed to be taking again. Yeah, Bietta. I'm going to be back on Bietta. But the I'm going to be doing the 5 milligram for a while. And then I'll be pushed up to the 10. Well, yeah, I'll be back on Bietta. I'm happy about that. I like Bietta. That's better. Because that has helped me lose some weight. Yeah, lose some weight. It's just a wait and see game. Yeah, I guess my doctor's office got to send them a fax to let them know why I got to take Bietta and everything and this and that and they'll go over it and I told them to put urgent on it and oh, it's just a wait and see game. Let's see if I could get it. I'm sure I will. And I, I guess, you know, if you put urgent on it, it only takes 72 hours to be approved. So hopefully, it won't be that long before I can pick up that. Yeah, it won't be too long before I pick up that. Well, yeah, I did that, and then after that, I decided to come out for a walk on this beautiful day. And this gorgeous, beautiful day here in Michigan. Yeah, decided to come out for a walk. And then after my walk, go head home and get Penny. And me and her will probably wander off to the library so I can use their computer so I can upload there at the library. Yeah, do that. And then after that, uh, come back home and just chill and relax until I, it's time for me to take my shot. Well, ha, Penny's been letting me use her Vitoza. She's got three Vitozas, and I've been using one of hers. Well, we've been sharing, and we've been sharing, so I've been using her Vitoza so I could take my Vitoza until I could get something. Then I'll stop taking that and take my Bietta whenever I could get that. But they got to wait for an approval first. But they do accept it. Meridian does, but just got to wait and be patient. So like I say, people, don't switch insurances. <laughs> Whatever you do. It takes a long time. No wait for an approval. Yeah. Me doing that and then decide what to have for supper tonight. And I don't know what, but we'll think. We'll think. Whooped up a good dinner last night. I still gonna upload it for you guys to check out, so be on a lookout for a video of that and then after deciding what to have for supper then go get it I guess and go get it and 
we'll whip it up and have some good old dinner tonight some awesome dinner some wonderful and delicious dinner yeah and then have dinner to go along and watching our sh favorite five o'clock news yeah and see what's been happening around our a local area today <laughs> yeah, see what's been happening around our a local area today and then after that it's the evening news and see what's been happening around this fine world today this fine fine world today yeah. And then after that, then I'll turn it to the TLC channel so I can get ready to watch all new uh, Little People, Big World. That's all new tonight on the TLC channel. And that's all new tonight. And I know I got to record the, I mean, a show called Zoo. That's all new tonight on CBS. Any of you seen that show yet, Zoo? Uh, leave a comment, let me know if you've seen it yet. And what, what was your take on it? And if you haven't, check it out tonight. It's at nine o'clock tonight. It's called Zoo. Check it out for me. And leave a comment after you check it out and let me know what you thought about it. It's a pretty good one. I guess it's supposed to be from Australia. <laughs> yeah, but check it out tonight. It's called Zoo. Comes on at 9 p.m. on CBS. I'll be recording that upstairs. I'll be recording that upstairs. Yeah. I'll be doing that, doing that, doing that. So, I would like to know how many of you out there are going to VidCon this uh, weekend. It's a big event happening out in Anaheim, California, where uh, that whole bunch of uh, YouTubers get together. Your big name YouTubers get together and have like meets and greets and everything. Any of you know anybody that's going? Drop a comment. Let me know if you know anybody that's going. Well, yeah, a lot of your big name YouTubers are going. Like boyfriend and girlfriend, they're going, and uh, Roman Atwood. He's going, and Charles Trippy, he's going, and John and Nikki, they're going. Uh, yeah, they're going, and uh, probably some other ones. And if you like to check it out, it will be a live stream of it on a site called YouNow.com. Uh, people will be doing live streaming of it. So please check it out if uh, you like to check it out. And I'm sure these YouTubers would do videos of it too. Like the Shaytards. They'll be doing a video of it also. Probably even Charles Trippy. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot of good, a lot of your popular ones. Uh, yeah, well, there's going to be other ones that are not going to be there, like uh, Kid Behind the Camera. He's not going to be there. Or Anger Grandpa. He's not going to be there. <laughs> they don't intend to things like that. They should. They really should. How popular they are here on YouTube. I, w I wish I could go to things like that, but just don't have the money. Just don't have the money to do anything like that. Bummer. Uh, 
Bummer, bummer, bummer. Wish I had the money. Money, 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 money. But I don't. I don't. So what do you all think about Donald Trump and his crazy zany things that he's been talking about? You know, leave your comment. Let me know. Do you think on what he said it's going to hurt him? But I guess he's leading in the polls, I guess, over these other people. But do you think what he said is going to hurt him? I'd like to hear from you. Drop a comment. Also, what is your take, everyone, about why isn't our proud men, proud men and women ain't armed here in the United States? You know, I'd like to hear from you that on that also. I'm sure a lot of you have fought in the war or served and how come none of them are armed? Well, what is it? Can't they be armed whatsoever? Like in these places where that crazy dude went in and shot and uh, Chattahoochee, Tennessee you know, leave your comments. Do you think our proud men and should, proud men and women should be armed at all time in places like those? I like to hear from a lot of you on that. Me, I think they should. I really do. I think they should be armed at all time, at all freaking time. That's what I think. That they need to be armed what, whatsoever. No matter if they don't work there or not. I think they should be entitled to have a gun on them at all time. Because of what's happening in this world today. Yep. I want happening in this world today because of ISIS. Yep. Because they want to bring the war here in the United States. Yep. That's their idea, to start bringing the war here. Yep. But it's sad on what that did, dude did. It was a normal person. A freaking normal person. And just went on a nut and decided to go up and start shooting people. It's crazy. Getting crazy. Yeah. And what the dude did was he didn't even get out from his vehicle, people. And he didn't even get out from his vehicle whatsoever. He drove by and did a shooting. I thought that was stupid of him. A little cop out, little fucking weasel. And that's all I got to say. You know, do a drive by shooting at a recruiting place. Yeah. The world's coming, coming crazy every day, huh? Coming crazy. Any of you agree? <laughs> Drop a comment. Well, everyone, just wanted to do a regular chat to say hey, and I hope everyone out there has a wonderful and enjoyable Tuesday. I what's left a bit for some of you. Yeah, what's uh, left a bit for some of you out there watching me. And if any of you out there are getting close to going into Wednesday, or almost stepping into Wednesday, or at Wednesday's doorstep knocking at it saying, hey Wednesday, open up and let me in.
Hey, Wednesday, please open the door and let me in. Hey, Wednesday, open the door and let me in. Please open the door and let me in. Well, happy Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Y'all take care, and I'll be speaking to everybody real, real soon. Do me a big favor, will ya? Give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah, give her a big thumbs up. Also, share this video with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. If you could do that for me. And also, if you're new watching, please hit that red subscribe button there or right over there. I would really appreciate that also. Again, y'all take care and have a good one. And I'll be talking to everybody real, real soon.